Happy Independence, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining me for this uh, devotion. I'll be a little briefer today because I know you have a lot that you're wanting to celebrate and have fun with your family and friends. Today we are in Psalm 68, and this psalm is a celebration of of God's blessings on the nation of Israel, uh, starting at Sinai up to the time of King David. And it's just it just expresses in different ways in poetic language uh, the power of God, the blessing of God on the nation. And, and remembering the past is, is intended to encourage them to trust God for their future as a nation. And uh, so that's, that's really a, a high view, if you will, a, a summary of, of Psalm 68. But the two verses that spoke to my heart personally out of that entire passage are verses 19 and 35. Verse 19 says, Blessed be the Lord who daily bears our burden, the God who is our salvation. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears or carries our burden. And NIV and other translations uh, say very similar things. But the King James and the New King James are uh, different. They translated as uh, as, as the daily benefits that God puts on uh, the people. And and uh, the King James and New King James, this is one, one instance of, of that not being a very good or accurate translation. Um, the, the idea that God daily bears our burden. Now, remember, this is written on behalf of the nation of Israel and how God has blessed them and, and, and that God carried their burdens, that God helped them. And I love the idea that for me personally, I don't have to carry the load alone. Whatever I'm... What, you know, whatever God asked me to do, wherever God asked me to go, however he asked me to serve him, whatever I experience in life, um, the load that's part of my life, I don't have to carry it by myself because the God of my salvation is there to enable me, to equip me, to help me carry that load. I love this image that the Lord daily bears our burden, helps us carry our load, our burden Every day. And that's very encouraging to me. Similar to that is verse 35, where he says, Oh God, you are awesome from your sanctuary. And here's the part that really ministered to me the God of Israel himself, the God of Israel himself, strengthens, gives strength and power to the people. Blessed be the God. And, and I put these images together that God carries my burden, helps me carry my load. I don't have to carry it alone. And that God himself, he personally gives me strength um, and power. He does. He did that for the people of Israel. He does it for me. He does it for you, though, all of us who are his disciples. And this image that I don't have to carry the weight alone, the burdens alone. God is there to help me carry them. And, and the whole time he himself, he personally is strengthening me and giving me power for the journey. That is a great encouragement to you. And I, that, that's why um, verse 35 ends, blessed be God. And verse 19 began, blessed be the Lord. I mean, when you think about God helping you carry your burdens and giving you the strength and power you need to live and carry whatever comes your way, blessed be his name. And uh, I hope you are encouraged to know that you are never alone. God is there to help you carry that burden. You you may feel you are weak, but you don't have to depend just on your own strength and your own talent. And uh, God is there to give you power and strength. Uh, so look to him and stop trying to do everything by yourself. Let God help you and you'll find it much, much easier. Again, happy Independence Day. Enjoy your cheeseburgers, hot dogs, your pulled pork, whatever you're eating today. Celebrate. Give God thanks for living in this great country, this free country. And uh, then I'll see you tomorrow with another devotion as we look at Psalm 69. God bless you.